Hi there, my name is Jennifer Noel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to crochet this Christmas tree ornament. It comes together with just five different colors of yarn, which I'll show you in just a second, and it's worked in all single crochets. So let me show you all the supplies that you're gonna need, and let's get started. So I'll be working with five different colors of yarn today. You can use any colors that you'd like. This is all a size four medium worsted weight yarn. It's all, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'm using it in light pink, green, gray, red, and this light green color. And you're need, gonna need just a few different supplies. So of course, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker. Here is a plastic ornament. You can find these at your local craft store. Um, you can also find them on Amazon. So they're completely plastic, made in one piece. They have this little top that detaches up here. So I'll put the link to these right below. And then you're gonna need a size F, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So we're gonna start with this light green color and you'll see this is the main color of the ornament, the body color. And we're gonna start here at the bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with a magic circle. So you're gonna take your yarn and hold it at a little bit of an angle like this on your hand. Hold it with your thumb. Then you're gonna wrap the yarn back, down, and then across your fingers to make this X. Flip your hand, hold on to it here, Then you're gonna take your hook, go underneath that first strand, grab that second piece of yarn, gently pull it down, and then you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna twist it down and towards you. You just wrapped that around right here on your hook. So you'll notice that you have a little V up top here now, we're gonna grab the left part of the V. So we're gonna grab that little strand and then you're gonna pull that through the loop that was on your hook. Pull this little tail out and now you have a magic ring. So we're gonna be working all with single crochets and you're gonna start by working six single crochets into the center of this ring. So you're gonna go into the middle of the ring Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. There's your first single crochet. There's two. Three. Four. Five, and one more. And six. So now with this little tail here, the little end, we're gonna take this and we're gonna pull that nice and tight so it closes that little circle. And that completed round one. So to start round two, we're gonna work directly into the first stitch here. And um, we're just gonna go directly in with a single crochet. So for round two, there's six single crochets here. We're just gonna work two single crochets into every single stitch. So into the very first stitch here, you're gonna put your hook into the top, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two. Now, since this is the first stitch of round two, we are gonna take our stitch marker, just so we don't lose track. And we're just gonna go ahead and mark the beginning stitch of round two. So back into the same stitch that you just worked into, you're gonna work another single crochet And then you're gonna work two single crochets into the next stitch. And then two into the next. So keep working until you have two single crochets in every single stitch. And you should have a total of 12 single crochets when you're done with round two. All right. So if you want to, you can count the stitches now. Um, you'll be counting like these little V's here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. So to start round three, we're gonna work one single crochet into the very first stitch. We're gonna replace our stitch marker. So the pattern repeat for round number three is gonna be one single crochet into one stitch, and then we're gonna do an increase into the next stitch. So single crochet into the next, 
and then an increase. And that'll be our pattern repeat for round three. So we've already worked one single crochet into this first stitch here. Into the next stitch, we're gonna work an increase. So that's just two into the same spot. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So a single crochet and then an increase. Single, increase. Keep working this all the way around. When you get to the end of round three, you should have a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, there's the end of round three. To start round number four, we're gonna go in to the very first stitch with one single crochet. This is another increase round. So since we're growing with our increases, we now have to work one single crochet into two stitches. So the first two stitches get one single crochet, and then we do an increase. So there's one single crochet, there's one into the next stitch, and then now an increase. That's gonna be our pattern repeat for this round. So one single crochet, a single crochet, and then an increase. And you're gonna repeat this pattern until you get to the end. But right before you finish the last stitch of this round, um, I'm gonna show you how to change colors because we do need to bring in the light pink color. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, now when you come to the last stitch, this will be an increase. So you're gonna work two single crochets into that last stitch. So there's the first one. Now on the second one, we're not gonna complete the single crochet. So we're just gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. We're gonna set this down for just a second. And we're gonna grab our next color. In this case, it's this light pink color. So to join the new color, and to finish off round number four, we're just gonna simply take the light pink color and you're gonna wrap this around your hook and pull that through. So that's how we're gonna do the color change. So both of all the yarn is still attached, both strands here. And then we're gonna start on round number five and just the pink color. So we're gonna leave the green back behind us because we're gonna pick that up in just a little bit. So we can take the stitch marker off. We don't need the stitch marker for this round because you'll be able to tell the new stitch by the um, pink color. So this is another increase round. So we're gonna work three single crochets, one into each stitch, and then an increase. And we're gonna do that for the entire round. But what we wanna do in the very beginning with this color change is work around the tail for just a couple stitches. So what that means is you're gonna kind of float this on top of the stitches. And then when you go in to do your very first single crochet of this round, you're just gonna work around that tail. And we're just gonna do a couple stitches. We'll do three. One, two, and then three. So remember that was three single crochets, one in each stitch. Now you can take the little tail and just keep it behind you. And now we're gonna work an increase. We're gonna repeat this pattern right here five more times. So we're gonna work a single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Increase. And you'll just keep repeating this until you get to the end of round number five. We're now to the very last stitch of this round. So this will be an increase. So we're gonna work two single crochets, but on the very second one, we're gonna switch back to the green. So you're just gonna take the um, light pink, leave it behind you, and then you're gonna find the green that's attached. And we're just gonna start working with this. So you're gonna yarn over with the green and pull that through. You can tighten that pink just a little bit. We're gonna leave the pink attached because we're gonna to need to work with this again when we get to the top of the ornament. 
But now for this next round, for round six, we're gonna do another increase round. And again, it's gonna be in the light green. So this is gonna be a total of four single crochets, one in each stitch with an increase into the fifth stitch. But now what we wanna do is I do wanna kinda of stagger the increases a little bit. So if you'll notice, we're kinda of getting this shape here where you can almost see these points. So that's happening because all the increases have been in the same place. So we're just gonna kind of stagger them a little bit. So since we're on an even round, and even as in there's four single crochets in this round, I'm just gonna work the very first two. This will make sense when we get to the end. So we're gonna work two single crochets, and then we'll do our increase. So when we come back around to the other side, we'll finish with two single crochets, but we're gonna forget about this for just a moment because we're gonna start our pattern repeat now. So the pattern repeat again is four single crochets and then an increase into the fifth. So that's one, two, three, four, and then an increase. And keep repeating this pattern until you have those two stitches remaining. So there's our last increase. And now we're finishing with those last two single crochets. So one, two. And again, what that did is it just staggered the um, increases in a slightly different spot so we won't get as sharp of points on these sides here. So now we need to switch to the next color and the next color is going to be dark green. So we're going to attach this for just one round and this will be our last increase round. So since this was the last um, single crochet of the stitch, we can just pull this up a little bit and you can uh, insert your hook into those first two loops and then pull this out. This is just another way um, to do the new joining and then you can join the new color. So you don't have to do that exact technique right there. You could just remember to pull through the new color on that last single crochet, but that's just a different way um, to join. So again, this is gonna be our last increase round. So this will be worked with five single crochets now, one in each stitch, and then into the sixth stitch, we'll work an increase. And that'll be our pattern repeat for this entire round. So again, we're gonna float the tail on top of the stitches just for a couple single crochets. So there's one and two. You can give that just a little tug, not too tight, and leave that back behind. Again, all these are still attached. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase. So repeat that all the way around, and when you get to the end, it will be an increase into the last stitch, and I will meet you when we get to the end of round number seven. So here's our last stitch, and this is an increase. So one, and then two. Now on the second increase, that's the last stitch of the round, we're gonna change back to the light green. So again, you're just gonna find it back here, pull it up, make sure not to pull this too tight, you just want it to be nice and loose. And then you're just gonna yarn over with the light green and pull that through. So now for round number eight, you're just gonna work one single crochet into every single stitch. You'll have a total of 42 single crochets. And again, we don't need our stitch marker for this because you can tell where the round starts. It starts with a new color here. So keep on going until you have all 42 single crochets completed. To start round number nine, we're just gonna work one single crochet into the very first stitch. You do wanna grab your stitch marker now and put that into that very first stitch. You can pull that green a little bit just to kind of tighten that stitch there. So now we're gonna work on the round that starts the very base of the um, Christmas tree. So this is gonna have this dark gray in there. So we're gonna work on this round right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna work a total of three single crochets, but then on the third single crochet, 
we want to change to the gray color. So we've already worked our very first one of the round. Here's our second single crochet. And then now on this third single crochet, we're not going to finish it. We're going to grab our gray and we're going to attach this new color and we're going to pull this through. Hold on to this here. You can float the yarn for just this one stitch. We're only going to work one single crochet in the gray. So we're going to put our hook in, pull up a loop. But now we need to yarn over back with the green color and yarn over with the green. You can pull this just a little but not too tight and then keep it back behind you. So the pattern repeat will be six single crochets now in this light green color. And then on the seventh single crochet, we're gonna work one single crochet in the dark gray. So again, that's six single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and now on the sixth one, we're gonna switch back to the dark gray. So you just need to find that working piece right here. You do not wanna pull this tight. You just wanna kinda of let it loosely glide across the back of your work and pull that through. We'll work one single crochet in the dark gray, switching back to the light green. And then you'll just keep repeating this until you get to the end of the round. So here's our very last trunk. So we're just gonna pull this through, work one single crochet. And after this stitch, and you switch back to the green, you should have a total of three stitches remaining. And we're just gonna work one single crochet into each of those three stitches. All right, so now we can cut the yarn for the gray. We don't need that anymore. We're just going to leave this floating inside because all of this is going to be covered um, because it's going to be wrapped around the ornament so you won't see any of this. You don't have to worry about weaving in any ends. So to start the next round we're going to start with one single crochet but we're going to switch directly to the new color. So we're going to start the round by starting our single crochet. Now we need our red. We're going to join the red. And then we're gonna work five single crochets in the red. So remember to let your little tail float for the first couple stitches and then push it back behind. So there's three, four, and five. And on the fifth one, we're gonna switch back to green. So if you remember this stitch right here was our very first stitch of the round, the very first um, light green that's to the right of the red. And we'll put our stitch marker in here so we don't lose our spot. So the pattern repeat for this round will be five single crochets in red and then two single crochets in the light green before changing back to the red. And on the very last single crochet of this tree, we're gonna switch back to green. And since it is the end of the round, we're gonna finish with just one single crochet into the very last stitch. And there's round number 10 completed. So that again is the bottom of your Christmas tree. So round number 11, we're gonna start with two single crochets in our light green. So there's number one. Now on the second single crochet, we're gonna switch back to red. And now this round is gonna be four single crochets in red, and then we're gonna work three single crochets in the light green for the entire round. So to finish round number 11, we're just gonna finish with one single crochet in, if I can get it, in the light green. And that completes round 11.
So round number 12, we're just gonna be decreasing the number of um, reds again. So instead of four, we're gonna work three. So let's put one single crochet into the very first stitch. We're gonna work two more single crochets. And on the second one, we're gonna switch back to red. So the pattern repeat for round 12 will be three single crochets in red and then four in the light green. So we're finishing round number 12 and then on the third single crochet with the red, we're gonna switch back to green and to finish the round, we're just gonna work one single crochet into that last stitch. And then let's start round number 13. So we'll replace our stitch marker. We're gonna work three more single crochets in this green, the light green. We're gonna to switch to red. And now we're just gonna work two single crochets in the red and then five in the light green. And that will be our pattern repeat until we get to the end of round 13. Round 13 will end with just one single crochet in the light green. Then we need to start round number 14. This has worked exactly the same way. And this time we're just gonna be working one single crochet in red when we get to the second red stitch here. So we're gonna be working one, two, three, four, five single crochets in this light green. Two, three, four, five, switch to red and then work one. So now the pattern repeat will be six single crochets in the light green and then one in the red until you get to the end of round number 14. And then we're gonna finish this round again with one single crochet in this light green color. So I'm gonna lift this up just a second. We can go ahead and cut the red. We won't be needing that anymore. So I wanna show you really quick what the inside is looking like. So this is just floating the yarn um, on the back side of the work and it leaves this all exposed and open. I don't like working around this. Some people will work around the stitch, but I don't like it with this pattern because you can see it too much from the front if you do that. So it almost kind of comes through. So by floating it, it kind of keeps it a little bit further away so you don't see it as much. But that's another reason why you don't want to go too tight is because this right here, you want this to have room on each one so it doesn't scrunch your ball together. So we have just a few rounds left to go. So we're gonna go back with the light green. So round 15 is gonna be worked in all the same color. So this is all gonna be done in the light green. And you should have a total of 42 single crochets at the end of this round. So just work one single crochet into every single stitch. So here's our last single crochet of round 15, but we're not gonna finish this because we do need to switch back to the green. But before we do that, let me show you this really quick. So the green and the pink did twist together quite a few times. So if you wanted to at this point, you could take your yarn and you can weave them around each other so you untangle this. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. I'm gonna kind of leave it like this and try to work around it. So we're just gonna pull up the green piece. But again, you don't wanna pull this too tight because if you pull it tight, it'll scrunch your ball. So you just wanna make sure that this is nice and loose. And we're just going to start working with this one. So this is gonna be a decrease round. So we won't need our stitch marker because we can tell with the color change where the round starts and stops. So with the decrease round, we wanna work five single crochets. This will be the pattern repeat for the entire round also. So we're gonna work five single crochets, one into each stitch. And now we're gonna work a decrease. So for this single crochet decrease, you'll see the tops of your stitches here. We're gonna um, condense these two stitches into one. So we wanna do that by going into this front loop only. 
So just that very front loop, not both of them. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now into that next stitch there, you wanna go into the front loop of that one also. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And now when you have these three loops on your hook, you can yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your decrease, single crochet decrease. And this is your pattern repeat for the entire round. So I'll work one more of these sequences with you. So again, that's five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll do another decrease together. So again, in these front loops only, go into that very front, first front loop, pull up a loop, go directly into the second one, pull up a loop, and now yarn over and pull through all three. So go ahead and repeat that four more times. Okay, we've come to our last two stitches and this will be our last decrease. So again, yarning over in the front loop only, but we're not gonna finish this one in the green. We wanna change back to the light green. So we can just leave this back behind, pull up this green, So right before we do, let's go ahead and cut this green because we won't need it anymore. Let's untangle it from the pink. Let's get that out of the way. All right. So now this round is gonna be another decrease round, but we wanna stagger where we put the decreases. So this round is gonna get a total of four single crochets with a decrease, but we're gonna start with just two single crochets. We'll finish the other two when we get to the end. So we're gonna work one single crochet into each of these two stitches, and then a decrease. And then the pattern repeat, again, is four single crochets. This is what you'll do for the remainder of the round. So there's three and four and then a decrease. Keep repeating this until you come to your last two stitches. Here's our last decrease. And then we're gonna finish this round with two single crochets. But on the last single crochet, we're gonna switch back to the light pink. So we won't finish this single crochet. We'll just grab the light pink color and now to start round number 18, this whole entire round will be worked in three single crochets, one into each stitch, and then a decrease. You'll do that a total of six times. So again, there's your three single crochets, and then decrease in the front loops only. And repeat that until you come to the end. So you're gonna finish round number 18 with a decrease. And then we'll switch back to the light green. So when you have the three loops on your hook, you're gonna drop the light pink, grab the light green, yarn over and pull those through. Now you're ready to start row 19. So we're just gonna start with one single crochet and then we're gonna pull up our yarn a little bit. I want you to do this also. So here's where we can cut the light pink. We're done with that. We can give that even a little tug. There we go. Now we wanna kinda of open our ornament just a little. And it's time to insert our ornament. So one thing that I didn't mention, but it is in the description below, this is a three and 3.27 inch clear plastic ornament. So I bought this um, from the craft store recently. Here's the box that it came in. Um, so you can see right here, the size is 3.27 inches, 8.3 centimeters. Um, you can find these on Amazon also. I ordered a ton of them on there, which I'll link the ones to Amazon down below. Um, if your ornament is a little bit larger, I would switch your hook up a size. So in case that, um, in case your ball here is a little bit larger, your ornament, I would go up to a size four millimeter crochet hook instead of this one. That way um, it won't be as snug. 
So what we'll do, is I'm gonna take the top off so it just comes right off. We're gonna set this aside. And then once you've kind of opened that up a little bit, you're just gonna put the ornament in and pop it in. You're gonna finish the last um, three rounds working around the ornament. You just wanna make sure that the opening is kind of in the center of this opening here, and we're just gonna crochet around that. We won't put the top back on until we're completely done. So let's put our hook back in here. So now this round is gonna be two single crochets and then a decrease, two single crochets and then a decrease. So just take your time with working around the ball. It might be a little bit funny feeling at first, but there's our first single crochet. There's number two. And then the decrease. Remember the decrease is just around the front loops. One, two, there we go. So two single crochets and then a decrease. So at the end of this round, you will have a total of 18 single crochets. And you're just gonna keep repeating this until you get to the end of this round. And you should be finishing with a decrease. Okay, here's our last decrease of this round. All right, so for the next round, it's gonna be one single crochet and one decrease around the whole round. So we'll reattach our stitch marker here. Of course, we didn't need it with the last several rounds because we had so many different colors. So again, that's one single crochet and then a decrease. Now at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, we're getting so close now. We're gonna take the stitch marker out and we're not gonna use it again because all we have to do now is just six decreases, but it's gonna get a little bit tight towards the last decrease, so you may only be able to do five, uh, but we're just gonna count it and kinda of see. So again, you're gonna work just into the front loops like we've been doing. And we're gonna decrease hopefully six times. So there's one. And like I said, it just keeps getting tighter. That's why it gets a little bit difficult on the last two stitches. So there's two decreases. Three. This is four, try not to fight it. And five. Okay, let's see if we can get one more. And always this last one. Ooh, we did it. Okay, so now to finish, we're just gonna chain one. Take our scissors. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We're just about done. Let's move our yarn. So we're just gonna pop this all the way through. Make sure that this is nice and pulled. It's a nice thing about it being plastic and one solid piece. So you'll notice that where we did change the rounds, um, you'll see that they're not completely connected here. You'll just make sure that that's the back side of your ornament. And then to finish, we're just gonna pop this tail into the inside, just like that. Let's grab our little topper, I'm gonna put this on. Before you let this just fall completely down, I just make sure all around it's kind of covered nice, which it is, and that's it. That completes our tutorial for this Christmas tree ornament. I am so excited about this. So I came up with this pattern just a couple days ago and I had kind of had it in my head for a little while and I'm so glad I was able to get it out and get the tutorial for you. So as you can tell, I did do several different colors um, these are worked all in the same nine colors, but each color um, you'll notice that 
the body of the bobble is done in each of the one colors. Every single one has just one of the um, colors for the inside of the Christmas tree, but you can play around with it. You can use any colors that you want. Um, I really hope that you liked this tutorial. It was a really fun one, again, to come up with. I do have the free written pattern available on my blog. Uh, the link for that is down below. So the free written pattern is down there. All the supplies and tools and um, everything that you need are down below also. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.